Welcome to days 12 through 18, our second week of Lent and giving up worry for Lent. Gary Zimmick really is speaking to us, I think. As we go along on this journey, we can definitely insert our names in some of these uh, discussions. The thought for the week, do not be afraid. Open wide the doors for Christ, St. John Paul II. On day 12, don't give up. Our second Sunday of Lent, we read, but Jesus came and touched them saying, rise and have no fear, Matthew 17, seven. As we reflect before the transfiguration, Jesus told his followers of the needs for self-denial and cross-carrying. He led Peter, James, and John to the top of the mountain and gave them a glimpse of the kingdom of God. They saw Jesus in his heavenly glory conversing with Moses and Elijah, and they heard the voice of God the Father. Ultimately, this experience of the divine caused them to be afraid. In fact, Matthew wrote that hearing God's voice caused them to fall on their faces in awe in Matthew 17, 6. At this point, Jesus instructed them to rise and to have no fear. It was time to descend from the mountain and to get back to work. Even though you've only been on this Lenten journey for a few weeks, there is a good chance that you have fallen, either by giving way to worry or possibly by falling into serious sin. If that is the case, you are in the same place as Peter, James, and John, lying down and staring at the ground. If you continue to look downward, all you see is your failure. Doing this for any length of time could cause you to plunge into despair. You may feel that you'll, you will never succeed at moving away from worry and moving closer to Jesus. Nothing could be further from the truth. If this is your situation, you are actually in a very good place. You are in the same position as Peter, James, and John when Jesus approached and touched them. He speaks the same words to you that he spoke to them. Rise and have no fear. You can respond in one of two ways. Either you can continue to look downward and you can beat yourself up for having fallen, or you can do what the three apostles did. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus in Mount 17:8. Whatever it is that you're doing for Lent this year, whether you're trying to stop to worry, giving up sweets, leading a holy life, it is impossible to do it on your own. Eventually you will fail, but don't give up. Jesus will often let you stumble because he wants you to remember that you need him. It may feel like a bad thing when it happens, but it isn't. It's a reality check. You do need Jesus and he wants you to turn to him. As we respond today, failing at Lenten resolutions does not mean that you are a bad person. It means that you're human. Those of us who tend to worry like to be in control. Today, let's focus on the fact that Jesus is one, the one that's in control in our lives. Every time we mess up, it gives us an opportunity to turn to him, to ask him for help. Let us do that today as we pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for always being there to pick me up whenever I fall. I can't do anything without your help. Please grant me the grace to move away from worrying and more closer to you. Amen.